a time of great sadness when the world was shivering from the icy grip of the man. People had lost the desire and ability to dance as if it were their last night on earth. Through the pure imagination of one man and his ability to create delicious candy, hope was once again restored to the wayward souls crushed by fear and paranoia. Willy Juanca opened a factory that produced candy so full of joy and wonder that people would feel the warmth of a thousand tiki torches in their hearts and dance into the light of the new electric Eden. Unfortunately, other evil candy makers who could not compete began spying on Mr. Juanca and his elaborate candy making secrets. It is for this reason that one day he fired all of his workers and closed the factory gates forever. The candy is still being made today. However, no one goes in and no one comes out. Buenas noches, America. And now details on the sudden announcement that has captured the attention of the entire world. As you know, Willy Wonka has opened up his gates to the five lucky finders, the five golden tickets, hidden amongst the billions of Wonka buyers. The people who find these golden tickets will receive the most fabulous prize of them all, a lifetime supply of Wonka chocolate and a tour of the Willy Wonka factory by Willy Wonka himself. We began with five golden tickets, and like five bolts of lightning ready to strike at any time. No one knew where, no one knew when. That is until now. Last night, while we in America slept, we got our answer. In the small, small town of Dusselheim, Germany, the first golden ticket was found. We now go to the live report. Proud we are, because the attention of the entire world is here in Dusselheim. The community is thrust into the spotlight with the unexpected find of the first golden Juanca ticket. Its lucky finder, only the son of Dusselheim's most prominent pornographic distributor, the boy's name, Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop, the pride of Dusselheim, the fame of Western Germany, an example to the whole world. Augustus, how does it make you feel to be the first golden ticket winner? Hungry. For sexual chocolate. Anything else? I feel sorry for Wanka. He'll never be the same after I get into his fudge. Mr. Gloop, would you like to say... <laughs> Mrs. Gloop, would you mind saying a little something to our television audience? Oh, I just knew Augustus would find the golden ticket. That poor smart you would be get what they want. We'd encourage him. We wouldn't cheat him with devices, would we? And anyway, it's all right. Good evening, uh, America. We are now entering the 43rd day of the mad craze that is the hunt for the golden tickets. No matter where in the world, on what continent, the signs of anxiety are showing. People? Uh, yes? Yes, that's enough. Okay. I've just received word that the second golden ticket has been found. And now we go to Mile City, Montana for a live report. Where's that damn reporter? Where's Violet? Violet! 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 It can happen here too. 
unbelievable as it seems. Right here in America, even the smallest towns, the happiest of dreams can come true. Because, folks, here she is, Miss Violet Beauregard, winner of Wonka's Golden Ticket Number 2 in Miles City, Montana. And with her, the proud parents, Mr. Sam Beauregard, prominent businessman, local politician, and civic leader. Square deal, Sam, to you. Sam Beauregard here with the finest deals on the best automobiles in the country. Now, just take this little Come beauty on, back Dad, here. They don't want to talk to you. Hey, Violet, would you like to say a few words to the nation? Sure I would. I have winning ticket number two, and it's right here. Oh, my. How'd you do it, Violet? Well, no. Normally, I'm a gum chewer, but when I heard about these Juancas, I switched to candy bars. Of course, now I'm right back on the gum. I chew all day long, except for meal times when I stick it behind my ear. Violet! Oh, stuff it, mother. Now, there's a piece of gum right here. I have been chewing for three months straight, and that's a world record. I even beat my best friend, Miss Cornelia Prince Meadow. And boy, was she mad. Hi, Cornelia. If How I you could, doing, If sweetie? I could just get your attention just for one more minute. Take a look at this cream puff back here. This, this car here was owned by a little old lady. She only drove it on Sunday, and she forgot she drove it right after. The savings are getting passed on to you, ladies and gentlemen. Georgina, Grandma Josephine, and me. I picked out the color. Fantastic! I look like J-Lo. Charo, here's a little present from Grandpa George and me. I think I know what this is. Mm -hmm. It's a Wonka. Come on, Charo. Open it up. Let's see that golden ticket. Wouldn't that be fantastic? It's not fair to encourage her like that, Dad. Come on, Charo. Open it up. Dad, stop. What's the matter? I've got just as much of a chance as anyone, right? You've got more, Charo. Because you want it more. Here goes. I got <gasps> it! I fooled you, didn't I? That's okay, Charo. You'll find it. Just enjoy the candy. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Well, would anybody like to watch the news? <laughs> How many times do I have to ask for fucking EP opening and bring me Nescafe? I mean, this Mr. is just... Smooth, you're on the air. Who will find the next golden ticket? The world feverishly searches and impatiently waits. The suspense is killing me. I hope it'll last.